I'm going to show you a very easy way to measure the height of a tree. Actually, I should say estimate the height of a tree. All you need is a stick and a tape measure. You really don't even need the tape measure. It just makes it easier. There's a way to do it without. We'll get into that in a bit. I have a fancy stick here called a yardstick with numbers and lines on it, but you can use just about any stick as long as it's kind of straight and at least the length of your arm. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my fancy stick. Sometimes I'll use an axe handle because that's just the way I roll. Fortunately, around trees, it's usually not that hard to find sticks. You start by walking out a distance. You could also run or crawl or whatever your favorite mode of mobility is. You could even do that backwards crab walk they used to have us do in grade school PE. Did they ever make you do that? I guess that was kind of fun. Definitely better than being in class doing schoolwork. I wouldn't recommend that for being out in the woods though. You want to go back a distance away from the tree that you think is in the ballpark of being equivalent to the height of the tree. No, that doesn't mean you have to literally find a ballpark. Ballpark's just an expression. Now you take your stick, find the distance between your eye and this hand, being careful, of course, not to poke yourself in the eye with a stick or having some sudden movement to cause you to get a black eye. Not that I've ever done anything like that. Grabbing the stick in that spot, raise your stick. The idea is to have the distance between your eye and the stick to be the same between your hand and the top of the stick and to have a 90 degree angle or as close as you can get. For those of you who are human type people, it's probably a little harder for you to get this angle perfect. From where I am, I can't really see it very well. From where you are, you can get a better look at my angle and see how far off I am. For those of you who are robots or androids, it's probably easier for you to get a precise angle because I'm guessing you have some kind of mechanism in your parts to know the orientation, orientation of all your parts. Now you line up the stick with the tree, line up the base of the stick with the base of the tree, and you want the top of the stick to be the same as the top of the tree. We're a little low here, which means we need to back up very carefully without tripping over things. Still a little low. Come back a little bit more. We're trying to find a distance away from the tree where the bottom of the stick lines up with the bottom of the tree at the same time that the top of the stick lines up with the top of the tree. That's looking about right. Now you take a note of where you're standing. X marks the spot. Now we measure from this point back to the tree. Whatever we come up with should be right about the height of the tree. If you don't have a tape measure, you can use pacing to find out the distance. A lot of foresters know the average length of their steps or how many steps it takes to go a certain distance like steps per 100 feet, steps per chain. A chain is 66 feet. If you know that, you can count your steps from here to the tree, do some math and figure out the distance. But we don't want to do math today, so we're going to use a tape measure. Speaking of taking steps, my feet are really comfortable today. Thanks to my Camel City Mill American Made Merino wool socks. I'll put a link to those in the description in case you want your feet to be comfortable too. So far, so good. This is only a 50 foot tape, so we will have to do a little bit of math. Since this is only a 50 foot tape, I have to make sure I don't go more than 50 feet. Because if I go beyond what the tape can go, I'll suddenly have this startling whizz happen right here. Then I'll have 50 feet of tape on the ground because it broke off, like I have done that before. 50 feet is right here, but there's nothing here to attach the tape to. Hold on a minute while I go find a thing. All right, I found a thing. There's 50 feet. This time I got lucky because there's a stump right here that's in just the right spot. I don't have to go down there and go get my thing.
about 25 and a half. Well, 50 plus 50 plus 25, I think comes out pretty close to 125 feet. According to this method, this tree is 125 feet tall. A lot of people would say when you're sighting in the tree, instead of sighting into the base of the tree, sight in at eye level. Then when you find your spot back there where your stick lines up with the tree, go back this distance and that gives you your height. That's probably the more proper and more accurate way. But when I've done it both ways, I usually end up in very close to the same spot. This is a crude method of estimating the height of a tree. It's not going to be exact, partly because there's a lot of room for human error, such as getting that angle right. It's not going to be exact either way, but I think if you do it here or here, you're probably going to be within the margin of error for this method. There are other ways to measure the height using a clinometer or a laser. This is just an easy way to do it with nothing but a stick. And if you're lucky, you have a tape measure. If I was nice, I would have made a diagram that would illustrate how this works, but I didn't. Really all you need to know is you're just taking a small isosceles right triangle and projecting it out to a large isosceles right triangle. Now that you know an easy way to determine the height of a tree, you can go to this video and learn how to know which way a tree is leaning, which way it's going to want to fall. If that link doesn't work, I'll put one in the description.